Why is our soul such a masochist? I came up with this question from... Well, actually, this question has been asked in sessions many times, but no one asked me at this particular moment. The thought came to me because a client called, almost in tears, asking, why am I going through this financial difficulty? I can no longer even provide for my family, let alone pay debts and bills. What is it my soul wants me to learn? And his soul replies, nothing. I just want to see how you're going to handle it. I just want to see what you're going to do. Now, it is so frustrating to hear this. But you see, as a soul, you know that nothing can ever happen to you. And this is why souls can play these masochistic games. So I ask the soul, okay, how would you like him to handle it? And the soul replies, it doesn't make a difference. I just want to see how he will handle it. Now, this is where many clients in similar situations have said very angrily, well, if she wants to see, she being the soul. In many languages, the soul is uh, feminine, has a feminine name. Well, if she wants to see how it is, why doesn't she come down here and live through this? And the answer is, I have come down there. You are me. You are the physical manifestation of me. But there needs to be a veil between me here and my physical manifestation there. The veil existed long before we decided to come. So, you see, when we do get angry, when we do get upset, most of us do say, why don't you come down here and live through this? You can't possibly understand it because you're not here, we say to our soul. But you see, by us being here, our soul is here. We have mentioned this before, but I'm going to repeat it, because the more times we hear it, the easier it might be to get it, to understand it. We are our soul, period. There are no two ways about this. We are our soul. This is why we have always heard the phrase, we are spiritual beings having a physical experience. And when the experience gets a little difficult in the physical, we blame spirit. And because spirit is what we would call beyond the veil and sees everything, it doesn't panic. So, in this guy's case, yesterday, I kind of pushed a little bit. And I kept asking, okay, give me some examples of how you would like him to handle it. To be honest, because I'm kind of in a similar situation, of course, I don't have to support a family. I am alone, which makes it much easier because there is no one you need to answer to. So it's much, much easier. But because I'm in a similar situation, I wanted to know for me as well. So I was pushing and I kept asking questions from every 
different direction I could to see if I could get the soul to, to answer something different other than I just wanted to see how you will handle it. And the closest I came to this was his higher self said, well, look, I want to see, will he handle it with grace? Or will he go into panic and start screaming? This helped me a little bit. Because since yesterday, when I think of my current economic situation, I keep saying, I'm going to handle this with grace. Because you see, oh, I forgot the client. After the, the higher self said this, I said, okay, how will you feel if he handles it with grace? And the answer from the higher self was, I really don't care, but he will feel better. Because if he handles this with grace, his vibration will change. Because grace has a very light vibration, a high vibration. And if he can manage to constantly handle the situation with grace, he will constantly be in a higher vibration. And then it will be much easier for him to come out of it, out of the problem. As for if he does the opposite, panic and start kicking and screaming, he will go into a lower vibration and there is a danger of getting stuck and being in that lower vibration for much, much longer. So, it's funny how, it doesn't matter how old you are, how many years you have been doing this, there's always something new you did not know. So yeah, this is one new thing I learned yesterday. Do it with grace. I've been doing it for about 10, 15 hours now. Whenever I think of it, I simply say, I will handle it with grace. I do feel better. As soon as something changes, I will let you know. Sometimes nothing changes in the physical right away but it changes energetically because we are not just physical. We have an aura around us. And things change in our aura and then it is much easier for us to attract bees. Because this is all money is. It's ease. It simply makes life easy. And if we don't have it, it makes life extremely difficult. So if you are in a similar situation, keep telling yourself, uh, by the way, your situation might not be a problem with money. It could be any kind of problem. It could be someone, it could be a relationship problem. It could be someone Relationships have a lot to do with common sense, so I don't know what word to use here. Okay, let's assume you're married with children and your husband is leaving you, or you now know that he's got a girlfriend. He has always had a girlfriend, but now you found out. Simply say, I will handle this with grace. And that way you will stay in a higher vibration and it will not be as difficult as it could be. So yes, I will repeat the phrase and then we close it. I will handle this with grace. When you say it, say it slowly and mean it 
because you see the universe does not speak our languages it is the feeling it understands words have a vibration and you want to send out this vibration you don't want to say I'm gonna handle this with grace while you're changing the channels on television you want to say it slowly and when you're saying it think of the issue or many people call it problem that you have so the body and the soul will know what you're talking about I will handle this with grace and I will leave it at this